This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. No, we're not. But <laughs> um, and we're back. And we're back. Yes, <laughs> amazing. Oh yeah, let's do uh, uh, early morning um, radio uh, host voice. Donkey and the Jeff. Wow. Yeah, FFPO. Oh my God. 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 Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we would not believe we have so many strippers in this room right now. It's crazy. Awooga, uh, awooga. Uh, yeah. If, <laughs> <laughs> this is not a buzzer. This is a boob. Awooga. Uh, um, <laughs> All right. Yeah. This is going, definitely the drunk episode. So yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bottoms up. Uh, Bottoms up. And I'm getting you another rock. Uh. All right. So drink, not smoke. Um, <laughs> even though you have to face. You for sure it. about that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your teeth look the, bad the, enough. The Gluck's Fisher look <laughs> just like Warty Cox, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think I have to it, post the Gluck's you Fisher. Really, you really do. Um, it's, I po- it's, I'm gonna post them on uh, the FFP page. Do you do the YouTube thing, or is it like a SoundCloud, or just iTunes, or do you have like a video? Uh, okay, it's iTunes. Video, but... It's the website. It's every podcasting platform platform known to man basically but do you do a, like a youtube video that's just like a picture yeah. and yeah audio behind it which is designed by my brother it's Ooh. gonna be us holding a picture of glucks uh, it's not it's not it's not it's not i can i can i can frame it in there yeah yeah in the middle like there's the classic one and then for two three frames it's just this picture yeah. and that's the only way you can find it yes i'm not gonna post it to ffpo yeah. you have to listen to this for a, an hour yeah. <laughs> and and you can't just google glucks fisher yeah you can't yeah. do it yes yeah. <laughs> especially because you're butchering that name <laughs> glucks fisher glucks fisher glucks fisher uh, yeah i'm not butchering it uh-huh. Have you heard your voice in English? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh fuck off. I got the U. Yeah, yeah, you got the U. That's that's a pretty if improvement. The, if I can get the U, then but I the got CK the... is a bit wonky. Glucks Fisher. Why why are you doing a glue glue? It's gl. Glucks. Glucks Fisher. Glue. Yeah. Glucks Fisher. Yeah, way better. Why are you putting your tongue that far back in your mouth? <laughs> it's a sexual German thing, I guess. <laughs> that's not. That's German a, German language is very very sexy. That's a very s- bad sexual move if your tongue <laughs> stays at the back of your mouth. Ich liebe deine Glücksfische. What it is? You should get tested. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have Glücksfische. <laughs> you the mouth. Look at the mouth of this fish. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who was really disappointed after he got. The mouth of this fish is the opening of a penis. (laughs) Yeah, and he's getting diagnosed just right now. That's why his expression is like, meh. Glucksfischer, ribbed for her pleasure. (laughs) Oh my god, nice. Yeah, that's the new mana slogan. Um, By the way, (laughs) this is a mana product. Um, (laughs) Glucksfischer. By the way, Uh, did you know that mana actually had product placement in uh, 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 Friends? No. Yeah, so you have... uh, what is his called name? Franz? Hans? In Friends? No, Franz. Hans, the coffee guy. Oh, I don't in know. Friends. I don't, I'm, I'm not European. I don't give a shit about Friends. <laughs> I learned English the regular <laughs> way. I didn't need Friends to help me. <laughs> How are you doing? Ah. <laughs> uh. Like, I feel like every European I know learned English. I'm like, how did you learn English? Friends? No, it was actually... <laughs> English subtitled anime. I thought you know how to say fucking fireball technique pretty well, don't you? <laughs> like, you have ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. That is actually not a fireball attack. No, it's not. No. Hajduken is. A Street Fighter, right? Yeah. Alright, I don't uh-huh. think you watched uh, subtitled Street Fighter, but if you did, that's yeah. weird. <laughs> As you're playing, reading subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how that's a subtitled SNES games. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Back to top. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, this is. F- oh, fuck you, listeners. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm, lash- I, I, I'm lashing out. I do not 
condone any of what he just said. All the thoughts and opinions expressed So what by... is your best moment? Um, <laughs> I think my best moment yeah. is when he said, oh, I don't remember the exact wording, but it was translated and paraphrasing. It was, sorry, translating and paraphrasing. What he said was just like, the sun was artificially heated. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was such an expositional moment. Yeah. See, like where it's just like, because they can't think of a better way to move the plot forward, let's just have the person ask something very surprised. Because they're like talking about like, oh, there's this global warming going on, and the sun's getting hotter. And they're like, well, maybe it was heated, but it's like, but we have reason to believe that this is not just a natural tendency. This isn't a, a pattern of nature. And the person, as a means of kind of moving the plot along and just explaining, hey, let's expect some aliens to do this, just in in the most stereotypically bad acting 1960s way said so the sun was ex- was artificially heated and it was it's look i don't expect you to think that it was like a great moment of this of this episode i i hear myself saying it right now i know it's nothing special at all it was just unfortunately the best moment uh, <laughs> of this tv show and um i would i would i would say you're welcome for watching that whole forty or sixty minutes of sixty uh, minutes, yeah, sixty minutes of TV show for yeah. you, so I can tell you what the best moment is. Unfortunately, you have to get more than sixty minutes into this podcast <laughs> to get to it. So I guess we're pretty much on the same playing it's field a right now. It's a wash. It's a wash. It's a wash. Definitely. Just watch both. Waste two hours. Yeah. Your life's not important. <laughs> um. So- Oh, cheers, by the way. Next yeah. round. Cheers with your another cup of whiskey. Mm. It's Italian. an heirloom, by the way, the glass. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's a uh, crystal, bohemian crystal glass. Like some, is this like a Nazi treasure? <laughs> <sighs> the thing is, I could no, I, I, I think couldn't it's like, say. I, I think it's actually, it's a very, because like, yeah. What the listeners can't see is that there aren't these engravings on it. And it's yeah. very, like an ornate, like very yeah. pretty. Like I've never seen a swastika look so nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a very delicate swastika. <laughs> Such nice engravings. Ah, so delicious. It's a gay uh, art Nazi. Who eats swastikas. Okay. <laughs> or, add, you know. Beats one off to it. All right, man. In the right <laughs> angle. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> also, this is gonna be the first puking episode. <laughs> Let's get and <laughs> knock out my first ghost. If I didn't know better, I would think you're trying to get me drunk, sir. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I, I will get you sweet, sweet, sweet and drunk. I, I want to go back yeah. to something real quick. The fucking sharks. Like the sharks <laughs> That's a good moment, right? That was... No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. Because I was convinced we were in space when I saw these sharks. <laughs> and I was like, why did they build a ship, bring it to space? But they're like, look, guys, let's have a reminder of home. We're going to get very homesick in yeah. these 12 hours we're in space. Yeah. So let's just bring sharks so that we don't get <laughs> lonely. And then I found out that they were in an underwater, underwater um, casino. Yeah. Because that's a thing. Yes. And... Later on, you keep seeing like all these other kinds of fish there too. Yeah, but these fish are gigantic. Yeah, like, they're humongous. Humongous. And yeah. The thing is, like, it, it was, and uh, know, that's their green screen work that you're so proud of. Yeah. But the thing is, they didn't take proportion in any of this. No, no. Because you're no, a human. They, yeah. You know, this little, like what are those fish that have? Ah, oh, fuck. This. Is, the uh, really poisonous one. Yeah, like that with yeah. the stinger thing. Like, yeah. The very like uh, yeah, yeah. skeletal like fins. I can't. Yeah. I should, you should know the name. You should look it up and put yeah. it, and insert it into here in the edit. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> nope, nope, I feel like not, you're not going no, to. No, no, so fuck that. Look up yourselves. Skeletal <laughs> fish that's poisonous. Um, I'm not going to add extra information into this one hour, probably 20 minute long podcast. Well, that or you could just take out all the stuff of us trying to figure out what it is and just say <laughs> cuttlefish. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> but um, It's not cuttlefish, by the way. Uh, yeah, that's what I know. Because <laughs> you didn't look it up yet. Yeah. So why would I know the answer? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like when they they showed these fish, but they were like three times the size of every actor on screen at that point mm-hmm. in time. Yep. And this fish could fit in my hand if I wanted it to. So Yeah. That's all Yeah, I for me it probably was my 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 best moment was either the 
gay sex innuendo scene. I, I would not look at that as a gay sex innuendo as much as a clear misogyny. <laughs> Like that, yeah, like, no, okay. Clear sino- misogyny countered by s- probably, probably gay innuendo. I don't know how you think that a man accusing a woman of being a lesbian is countering misogyny. No, 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 no. He didn't. He didn't imply that. Okay, then how is that implying gay sex? No, no. He implied that he knows more about women than she does, and she smiled in a c- cockish, coquettish way back. And that implies that she had experience with girls. No, oh, it doesn't. It just means that a man told a woman that he understands women better than a woman. Which is like so misogynistic. Like, I get pussy, therefore I know all about women. Okay, what then you, her smile a... was just, you're an idiot. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> like, then, I'm, the then, I, then I'm impressed. You're just looking for lesbians in everything <laughs> you see. Oh, you don't know hey, me well hey, enough to say that. Did you see how that. she like put the? the cre- it's true, but you don't. You know, know me enough yeah. to, to. Did you to see say how that. she put the debit card into the ATM? <laughs> oh, yeah. it's because she wants to be the man inserting because she's a lesbian. <laughs> like that? No, 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 no. I, I don't look at it that way. I'm very well informed. Well informed is a non sequitur. That has yeah. nothing to do with what we're. <laughs> that's like Tommy at the Sean Porter show being like, "Are you in a relationship?" Twenty seven. All right, man. Cool. <laughs> uh, like, call back to nobody that is gonna listen to that esoteric jokes. <laughs> Randomness. Seriously, um, we we need a Neil Hamburger in in the Austrian comedy scene. I don't know what that means. You don't know Neil Hamburger? No. Are you not familiar with the greatest alt uh, life alt comedian in in the U.S.? Is his name Neil Hamburger? Yeah. Then no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he performed at the, one of the uh, uh, comedy fe- rock festivals, the Tenacious D made. And okay. uh, they made for him a one-man tent where it's just him and one, one seat. And you get in there for five minutes. He's going to do some st- weird stand-up just for you. Then you have to walk out and the next person gets in. One man tent. How did we get on this subject? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Twenty seven. <laughs> oh right. Yeah. Clear. All segue. All comedy. That segue was about as clear as every segue in the show we just watched. <laughs> we just wanted to <laughs> show you yeah. how, how how weird this this thing is. Cinemage. Yeah. <laughs> Cinemage. Oh, we oui, we. Oui. It's all experimental. Um, so, yeah, my best moment in this case is not the gay sex in Wendell because it doesn't exist. Because <laughs> it doesn't exist? <laughs> I looked in the wrong wrong places. Oh, I guess Viber Colony that was is, also... is, is pretty dope just from a holy shit man yeah. uh, kind of perspective. Because for our English-speaking uh, listeners... Uh, that don't know German, uh, Weiberkolonie would roughly translate into bitch colony. Yeah, I mean, like... Or, like, or chick, chick colony. Chick colony. I mean, okay, you know Jack, right? Yeah. Okay, Jack Holmes, a uh, comedian in the area, a very good comedian, a uh, good friend of mine. And in all of our conversations, he always looks at me like I'm the piece of shit, which, uh, Jack, if you're listening... You have no right to say that. Uh, Jack has a job. I don't have a job. Yeah. But my point is, uh, Jack looks at me like... He's the cello. I, I will like I will talk to a girl, and I'll just like be like flirty or whatever, and he's like, Reggie, you can't say that. You're assaulting these women. I'm like, I said hello. And, but like, yeah. that's just like kind of the dynamic we have. So like, I'm so used to being the piece of shit in the... Quote, unquote, piece yeah. of shit in these conversations. And like I'm not the one who's like standing up for like... This is my, I have a joke where I say that I'm not a misogynist because I would never give a bitch a massage. Yeah. So like I, I'm not the one who should be taking this stance. Mm-hmm. But I'm watching this whole TV show and I'm like, this is the, like so misogynistic. Like every aspect of it, of like from like the this where you're like, oh, it's so progressive that they have these two main female characters and none of them is a love interest. Yeah. So we're like, it takes five episodes of her before her, she breaks down. Five one hour episodes. Five one hour episodes before this woman's constitution breaks down and she can no longer hold back her because she's actually uh, put on that spaceship originally as a security officer because uh, Cliff is so uh, promiscuous 
No, not promiscuous. Yeah, well, that too. But no, in that case, just being... Unorthodox? Yes, about his decisions. Yeah. And that was from so Central Command. He's so wily, so they needed a woman to tame him. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't be tamed because mm -hmm. he's a re reckless man, a fucking silverback gorilla. Yeah. But then after five episodes of trying to control him, she's just like, I love you for who you are because you are a sexy man. Yeah. So I hope this other He is the best looking pretty. guy in the show. That is not He's... Yeah, he's probably one of the best looking men in Austria, too. That doesn't mean <laughs> <much>. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, like, from that to like this completely autonomous female mar run monarch, uh, I'm sorry, um, pay, uh, matriarchy, matriarchy of a oh, planet, yeah. who are completely fucking self sustaining until this main character comes there and they're like, look. I realize what you're saying now, so let me just sit on this couch and then lead you yeah. into the bathroom and then want to fuck you and then we can be a love triangle. Yeah, for the yeah, rest yeah. Of the, like it, to like, hey, hey, woman, you think you know about more about women than me, pussy slayer over here? Go fuck yourself. Like everything about it is just like Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is ridiculously yeah. misogynistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my best moment, <laughs> just because of how it em emphasizes this episode, especially because. The other ones weren't, weren't as closely. They were misogynistic, of course. 60s. That's just how it but, was. But not as much. This is like the crown jewel of this show when it comes to misogyny. You have more episodes. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, look ahead. The, the listeners who to just stayed in <laughs> to, to listen to all of this. So let's go to the secret. Uh, um, all right. The other one yeah, there. yeah. Okay, and, and that's just... Loud! Yelling! It was really weird because it was such a, an emotional monotone in their delivery for everything. Like, no running when it's urgency, no sense of urgency, no sense of passion, no sense of real emotions. It's all... Emotions? Em emotions. You're gonna fucking correct, my, <laughs> correct my pronunciation of an English word right now. I don't look. I haven't done that to you because I wanted this podcast to not be 17 hours. But uh, okay, we can play this game. Oh come on, man, come on! I'm just out of practice. That's all. But uh, me too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, it was, but it was like very monotone in its emotions. It was it was yeah. basically me like me like oh no, my best friend was captured. Let's go after him right now. Walk casually in that direction. <laughs> hey, do you think we should do something about it? Maybe we should shoot it. <laughs> the laser okay, effect was now, dope, though. Yeah, it was for the era. But then, mm -hmm. like, it was just, it was so monotonous in its delivery for everything. And yeah. then out of nowhere, fuck you! How will you do this to us? We need this country! But still, no, like, yeah. physical. Nope. Like, the, the, the demeanor was the exact same. It was just loud. Yeah. Like, I even The said, only guy who showed emotion was uh, the gorilla guy who had his fists on the table. He, he showed emotions. He did like a, like a double fist power move, like a Donald Trump closing the deal. Yeah. Just kind of like slams his fist on the table. And then like the guy says something he doesn't like again. So he lifts his whole body back up again and then slams his fist back down on the yeah. table to ex to express his dominance. Yes. A, but the thing is, it was... Because I mentioned this to you during the episode. Yeah. It, it was almost like you're watching like an anime where like the faces look exactly the same, <laughs> but the mouth just moves as yeah, you talk. because the like, animation it, is so cheap. It was, it was, it was, yeah, like, it was, it was like that, but like real people, real people. Like they had maybe, maybe it's like no a, expression on their faces. It was just it, their mouth maybe moving. Maybe it's like a Westworld scenario because they are all animatronics. Honestly, I, I think so because they're all German. So that's it's pretty much German synonymous. engineering. It's really good, but it's not quite human look at our exhibition of German emotions yeah. we have two frown and yeah. deeper frown we have two frown and ditto yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more frowning yeah we enjoy the frown it's 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 quite it's relaxing it's purpose gesture yeah. Not gesture uh, facial mimic facial expression expression I'm turning into a uh, gold standard gold member gold flagger yeah is this an no, Goldschlag is an alcohol. Yeah, no. Gold Actually, members, yeah. the first time I, I uh, somebody offered me Goldschlager was when I was 16 and on an uh, English trip to Ireland. Mm -hmm. And our host from the family is like, oh, you know, know German? Oh, very good. Uh, and then he started to talk in German and he pulled out a flower. Uh, did he actually a, start a speaking in German or is he like, yeah, good, nine? <laughs> no, 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 not in the racist <laughs> dialect. No, no. Like, Guten Glauben, Glauben. No proper real proper uh, German and he pulled out a, a bottle of Goldschlager and he's like you want a sip of the Goldschlager would you like to drink some heavy metals yeah basically that 
<laughs> gold is non-reactive, so it's fine. But it doesn't make it. That doesn't make it healthy. You're just gonna poop gold. You're right. That sounds totally normal. <laughs> that sounds like a normal human digestive property. No, dude, that that just again shows us how good. <laughs> how weird our lives are we have people freezing on the streets but i could afford gold flakes I in in my in my bottle of uh, mid-range you can vodka call me Nicolas Flamel because i am an alchemist an alchemist yeah i turn the gold into uh, the souls of the lost human beings into gold i turn gold into gold <laughs> yeah, at a one by one ratio <laughs> Marvelous my <mind. laughs> I turned this one bar of gold into another bar of gold. Look at this, how amazing is this? <laughs> German engineering. Yeah. It's this magical machine you put in a bar on this side and another bar pops out on the other side. Oh man, we probably had too much to drink. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be uh, my first t-shirt, I guess, forever. It's going to be Gold Alchemist. <laughs> because it's so off whack from the rest of the people. German uh, Gold Alchemist. My first piece of merchandise is just going to say, oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, again, 60% more laughter, 30% more jokes that don't land. But I think we were golden with this one. I don't like that pun you just tried to pull off. <laughs> oh, I uh, thought it was pantastic. It was that's not even a good pun. Pantastic. <laughs> you enjoyed this joke in panorama. That, that doesn't make sense. Cause no, I didn't because <laughs> you're directly in front of me. There's no panoramic <laughs> element to this. <clears throat> Ponderful. That would have been a much better one. <laughs> okay, I, I still would yeah. have hated you for it. <laughs> but, it but it would have made sense. Pantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. That's like being like, hey, what is it? It's a pun peroni pizza. No, it's not. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. A pun peroni pizza. I would eat a pun peroni pizza. You don't. <laughs> All right. Don't. <laughs> does your TV do this when you're watching TV? No, it does. Again, I use the broken HDMI cable. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it looks like it's inhabited by a prince right now. <laughs> His his pink face, uh, 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 not pink. Uh, 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 fuck! What's the, the the color of his coat? Uh, purple. Prince. Purple. Oh, prince. Oh. Okay, I thought you meant a prince. No, no. Like no, I'm no. like the why prince. Is a prince. Oh, sorry. The oh, artist, uh, the formally dead guy, as. formerly known as well, the artist, formerly drawn known a as. On a piece of paper and shown it to me. And yeah. I would have understood. Yeah. The, the weird swirly thing with the crossy thing and the yeah. little I was like, what thingy. is Kim Jong-ul have to do with this shit? <laughs> Kim Jong-ul? I don't know his name. Do I look like a man who knows politics? Uh, yeah. Kim Jong-ul. <laughs> <laughs> the Turkish, <laughs> Turkish North Korean president, Kim Jong-ul. I love the kebab, but I also like to torture people. He's also German for some reason. He's Turkish, of course he's German. Yeah, no, the weirdest <laughs> thing is that Kim Jong-il actually was educated in Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah. Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-ilist is that. No, right. no. Sure. Yeah. Kim Jong-un. Yeah. That's why you said Ül. Yeah, probably. Yeah. We're going to listen back to that. And in all fairness, I said Donald Trump earlier. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Trump alert. Yeah, yeah, you should probably call that Pepsi. You should probably grab the non-alcoholic beverage this time. <sighs> so refreshing. Immediately followed by a mistake. <laughs> by followed by a good decision. All right, um, let's what, close. What else is left? I let's like let's close no off one's this. Be this, listening at this let's, point. Yeah, let's close off this bitch. So I can I, at this point, it'd be safe for me to say that you've. Before the podcast, you were telling me how you wanted to assassinate Donald Trump. Uh, and I can say that freely now because no one's going to hear it at this point in the podcast. So continue? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to go get on a no flyers list for a long time. It's like a badge of honor. I know. I, remember, I, I have to take both. Yeah, because you said that to me. You, 
you said it to me, and I was like, "Look, I don't condone what you're saying at all. I don't. I, he's a good. He's going to be a good president. He's gonna be a <laughs> president. Mexico will pay for this president. Oh yeah. And yeah. then you said, <laughs> "Oh, he's Mexican is paying yeah. so hard. Yeah. And then you said, "No, I want to be on a no fly list. I'm going to take a boat. And I'm like, "I still don't agree with what you're saying." And you said, "No, because I have to take a boat, and I still managed to pull it off." And I, I Paul, what's your yeah. last name? Na- Naoma? Sarah, no, 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 that's no, not. My, that's no, just. No, no, that's just butchered Latin. Paul <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with Paul Farhalberger. My real name is on the website, anyways. Paul Fufpo. <laughs> <laughs> so racist. Right he said, he said. Basically, he said, "I, Paul, mm-hmm. if I can, I, Paul, manage to assassinate Donald Trump by taking a boat. That's like twenty more points." Because I didn't use a plane. Yeah. To use a plane. And I said, look, man, I do not agree. Please don't say this stuff to me. <laughs> I don't want to be associated with it. And you said, no, it's cool, Reggie. We already agree. You didn't have any part of this. And I was like, okay, as long as we agree on that. And then we tried to move on, and you just kept bringing it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I'm so quite fine, obnoxious. Of, because you've been begging for look, a while. Look, look at the wall. It's it's all filled with with, with red lines of of, of, of string, of, of string between, between between newspaper pictures, clippings. Yeah, and yeah. newspaper clippings. <laughs> and there's a, a big like I I spent like two months doing this thing. Yeah, yeah. In the in the, in the TV shows that I watch, it's always like. 30 seconds that they're gonna build this thing yeah it took me two months to build this yeah, thing alone I mean, that's I, not even research that's just doing this crazy thing it's a spider web and of, it doesn't do anything it's a spi- those strings are bullshit it's a spider web of interconnecting red yarn it, it it's weird because it all centers around a giant picture of donald trump with his fingers up um but weird thing is i you got a little sidetracked for a while it was a tangent because if you look at the yeah, top yeah, right yeah. it's a picture of alec baldwin with a trump wig on yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> for for time i thought that he really went on to snl and 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 was like a real cool dude that's that's the time where i just wanted to plan to shake his hand which is equally uh, uh, oh, hard to do there's like a sequence with his tiny hands where I wanted to shrink my hands to fit into his hands so yeah. I can I mean, like, give him a like, proper handshake he went from like his little fingers to like fingers in general to like toes in general so there's like one that's just the nursery rhyme this little piggy went to market this little piggy stayed home and uh, if you look over to the right like from the tangent of Alec Baldwin yeah. you somehow got to Alan, Adam Sandler yeah, in, in know, every I, yeah. other SNL that, cast member for that, the past that was a dead years end. that was a dead end yeah yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That was a waste of time. Then why do you have a bullseye around Chris Rock? Uh, I know. No, that was just... Uh, Unrelated reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a black man. No. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's a Rheinland bastard. <laughs> oh, I'm I assume going, you're editing oh, this oh, much more heavily than usual. Oh, oh. No, I'm not. That's the best thing. Because it's already rated R. I don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah, but it's also long as fuck at this point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be probably the longest episode since the US. I might miss my train going back. It's those Americans doing all those tangents. Fucking terrible people. But this was a great bit. I, I loved it. Like you started with the you, whole Trump thing, and I, I, I continued the, with the. I love with, that you love this bit so much that you spent two months putting together this collage <laughs> on your wall. That is commitment to an hey, art form. Hey, I served you caviar just to prove a point. You really, yeah. I should never <laughs> underestimate your willingness to go for a bad joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I will hunt down that joke. I will murder it in his sleep. I will kill its family. I will burn down I its village. I have a specific lack of skills. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all about slaughtering jokes. <sighs> Call me Witzel Metzger. I don't know what Witzel is. Uh, a small witz. Oh, okay. A small joke. Like a half joke. Yeah. Butcher. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Self burn accomplished. <laughs> Crust crunchy because I'm burned. Also good. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not bad. Should write that one down. <laughs> Already did. I have an open mic on Friday if you. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I couldn't open some mics. 
if you want on the bottom open mic, let me know. But yeah. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm it has just, to be an it's show. a literal open mic. I come in with like a, a technician's like a uniform and start disassembling the mic. <laughs> it's not open. Mic. It's not a very good bit. I would not. And then I touch the wire, get electrocuted, and die. So you're gonna disassemble an entire microphone so you can make a terrible slapstick joke? Yeah. I, I retract my offer. <laughs> I am the uh, what's his name? Ridiculous name, uh, ridiculous Fritzel. head. <laughs> no, the, the guy. Fritzel of jokes. No, the, <laughs> <laughs> because I keep them all in the basement. They're ten years old and they're all in the basement. And there's. <laughs> oh man, when I was in Berlin, I met this woman at a bar after a comedy show, and we were having this conversation. Oh, I, I, okay, officially now, this is gonna be a two-parter. I'm gonna good split call, those. I'm call. gonna split those in two. Way good call. Because fuck this shit. This Cause, is because it's way too long. Holy to shit! No, it, alone uh, uploading in it oh, in yeah. one file size is gonna be a, tr- a trouble for me. Also, if you have one and it's like a two-hour long thing, it, yeah. you're gonna lose a lot of listeners halfway. Yeah. Two will be yeah. much better. Um, but yeah, I was in Berlin and I met this woman. Maybe I'm and we were just talking. gonna split it in four parts. <laughs> This is the rest of the podcast. Uh, we're never. This never getting back on format. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck you, Reggie! Coming in here with your uh, American charm and to just do and America is the is the erect dick of the world. Coming yeah, in just and fucking up everything you have pre-established. Yeah. Have you seen Iraq lately? You're welcome. Yeah, it's it's very structured in its rubbleness. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We're like, hey, let's impose a democracy on you, and then you guys can vote when you're completely racist about your Hutus and Tutsis or whatever that is. That Hutus and Tutsis was Rwanda. <laughs> what the fuck, Hutus man? and Tutsis is definitely Rwanda. Yeah. Uh, but it was... There are Hotel Rwanda guy, man. There, there, there were two factions. Uh, I can't remember what they were. Mm-hmm. Regardless, uh, this is not a political co- podcast, and we're about to say something... Very not, um, very not very not political. So yeah. uh, I was in Berlin, and I was talking to this woman after the show, and there was this girl who was American that I was I was there with, and we were talking to like it was me, this German woman from Cologne, and this American girl. Three of us were talking, and she mentioned a name who the American girl didn't recognize the name because she's American. And I'm not gonna say it yet because <laughs> I want there to be the good reveal that yeah, this yeah. girl got. Okay. So like to try to explain it, this woman was just going off. She's like, it's just I think it's a bunch of bullshit. This woman is just it's she just wants attention. She's just trying to get famous. Like she's just, you know, doing these talk shows so she can just like talk about her struggles, but she just wants to be famous and she's not even pretty. And like she has nothing good to add to the world. She's just she's just stuck up and selfish and just a narcissist. And, she, and again, she's not even pretty. And this whole time this girl's like, Who are we talking about? Some kind of like like reality TV show star, like like the like the Austrian yeah. Kim Kardashian, yeah, Natasha Kampusch. <laughs> <laughs> what? She's just like, and she's not even pretty. I'm like, that is the most horrible <laughs> thing I've ever heard. It, it, that's that's pretty bad. It was amazing. That's pretty bad. It was amazing. Yeah. Holy shit, man! Like, the, I knew that. Like, she was locked in a, in a basement for what was it, like a, that, like ten a thousand. 96 days or something, whatever that book was called. But, like, several years yeah. being locked in a basement. In 10, and probably being abused, and who knows what happened. But like, yeah, she had but like kids defi- with him. Oh, yeah, then definitely being abused. Right? No. I, what? Maybe. No, if That might have been Fritzl. The other, yeah, right, right. I'm, I'm ashamed of right. you for not knowing your heritage yes, at this point. Yes, sorry. But, uh, <laughs> I only parted close to the house once. But, but I... <laughs> I feel like you partied in that basement. At one point. <laughs> uh, Who's that girl? She's I don't know, but she looks down. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, we actually have a word for it, Kellerkind, and that's actually bef- that. No, that that was before. before. That doesn't make it better. No, 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 no it <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't make it, it better. Doesn't. It doesn't. That you already like that's such an Austrian tradition. <laughs> that's like you know schnitzel schnapps. <laughs> no, for the listeners of FFB, we already did an episode called "In the Cellar" that was about a documentary about Austrian cellars and how diverse and weird they can get. And how they were interesting. specifically designed with soundproof. Uh there was I think one. It. it yeah, one. Yeah. It is climate controlled to keep your wine fresh. No, it, it was actually a shooting range. Keep... Really? Yeah. Basement shooting range. Was that also Fritzl? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually the most surprising and nicest guy from all the, the guys that we interviewed. Quite amazing. I just like how many Austrians I've had complain about American gun laws. And like, Americans are too interested in guns. Oh, and we're obsessed guns. with guns. 
And and you're saying that like this guy who had a shooting range and was shooting guns in his basement was yeah. the nicest guy in a basement that Austria has. <laughs> <laughs> so like all for this documentary, of Americans for this documentary, like the Nazi guy was was nice too. Until, until he, a, until he opened the, 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 his memorabilia until he room. Until the bank. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to deposit uh, like 90 grams of uh, Jewish uh, teeth gold. Let's go let that silence sit for a minute. <laughs> Let's do it in, in this horribleness. I want you to feel what you just said. <laughs> Oh, people are gonna listen to this. No, they won't. Uh, <laughs> second largest viewership is the US, so there are gonna be some Jews. I like how the only way Jews can hear it is to not be in this country because <laughs> Hitler, German efficiency, you know? Well, we have like, I think in total 10,000 left. Who left? We have eight thousand in Aust- uh, in Vienna, and the rest, the rest two thousand are like. I like how you have an exact number. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know how many are left. Don't worry, we have the paperwork to prove it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where's your star? Okay, now we're going into deep. No. No, 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 no. no, no. This is quite appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, in all fairness, your podcast is called FFU. FFU. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's uh, in. So yeah. Yeah, it, it's in the red, white, earlier. and red vein. Honestly, I think instead of, in addition to the stars that we have for the Jews, yeah. I think we should have the crescent moons for all the Syrians. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Topical humor. <laughs> if somebody in 10 years is going to listen to it, he's, he's like a second generation uh, Syrian refugee who is like really successful here and wants to start a comedy series. <laughs> Or something and listens to this podcast and he's like, "Oh fuck you guys!" He'll be like, "Oh, now I understand why they didn't make it." (laughs) (laughs) Hey guys, come to my comedy show. (laughs) Oh, uh, plugs are later. Um, (laughs) Plugs are once the people stop listening. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) which was an hour ago. Again, we're gonna split this episode. Should do plugs up top. Yeah, plug it, plug it all on top. Yeah. (laughs) Oh no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, oh. I bet you plug from the bottom a lot. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. All right, let's move on to the last point. Wait, that business. wasn't it? That wasn't no. the, uh, What was the last one? The last one was loud yelling. Uh, and now we have final conclusion. <laughs> I recommend the show to everybody. Yeah. No. <laughs> not at all. No. <laughs> it's really in, bad. No, not in, in uh, guys. Let's meet and drink a lot of stuff and make a drinking game out of it. No, because then you can just watch porn. Which, in all fairness, I thought you were gonna make me watch. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> There's some good Austrian porn out there. I told you it would have been the funniest, but you need to do that at some point. In oh yeah, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we're gonna do Austrian porn. Uh, like, yes. Because he wouldn't tell me what. We were gonna watch. Like it was his big secret, his big reveal. And this is, you blue balled the fuck out of me. <laughs> but he, his whole thing was like, oh, let's just let you'll be surprised. And if he had any comedic timing at all, or oh fuck you, I did the crack. Uh, um, no, that's good. That's good. That good. If you had, come a, on, you cracked up like a I, motherfucker. I really hard. Um, yeah, but. If you had more, uh, you, what you would have done was be like, I'm not telling you. And as soon as I get here, it's German gay porn. Oh. And that would have been the funniest way to handle that. Because then yeah. you have a person who's already like gone like an hour of the way to get into the fucking Altekling. Uh, I'm pretty much in fucking Salzburg right now with how far I've had to go oh. from civilization. <laughs> and hey, fuck you. Altekling is nice. Yeah, it's yeah only because you have the Brauerei. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and Mana Factory is right around the corner, and too. And Turkish people. Yeah. Lots of kebabs. No, they're delicious. Kent is really nice. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, ha! Counted your own point. But my point, <laughs> cool, yeah. point is that you have to yeah. come like it's it's a it, you have to unless you live in the 16th you have to like make a trip to get to your place. Yeah. So then they've already like 
like set aside their whole evening for this podcast and they've made the trip and now they're here and you put it on you don't tell them it's going to be porn you just let it start going and they're like this show has a really bad plot <laughs> oh it's one of those progressive ones where they just have a little bit of gay sex or whatever yeah oh because they got a show like oh look at us we're liberal and you just let them get a half hour into it and you're like it's just going to be gay porn, isn't it? This is just this is just gay sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be the funniest. You yeah, have to do yeah. it at some point. Yeah. <laughs> not on you, but maybe no, somebody that we know. Obviously not on me because I oh, yeah, suggested but some, it. Yeah, but somebody who yeah. who, who, just, who you know, so we are in on the joke. Dude, dude, so dude. you're gonna tell Jack, him that, if you get Jack on this podcast, do it. Just, just. I want to have Jack on anyways. No, so but, uh, do it. <laughs> yeah, now you have to push him. Like, you have going to tell him how good it is and everything. Like, pump it up real hard. Yeah, push it to the limit. So, limit, limit. We're going to, this is in the second half. Yeah. So, you're going to contact Jack tomorrow. And you're going to be like, hey, when are you in town again? Because yeah. I know he's coming to town. He's got a gig this Friday. So, like, maybe on this weekend or something, depending on how long he's staying. But you can call him and be like, hey, we need to do this. Let's set something up. Yeah. And then we ask Should me, I do the I'll peanut butter it. cracker uh, caviar thing too? Just for a continu- continuity. continuity. I have caviar left, so. <laughs> I think you might as well. <laughs> and if you can't schedule them for a month, you still might as You're well. You're going to tell him that the food is excellent yeah. too. Well, so the thing is, like, you tell him that. <laughs> if he talks to me, I'll tell him everything you need to tell him. Like, you just need to get him on it. Yeah. Don't post the second half before he gets here. Yeah. And do that. He's not going to listen to it anyways. Probably not. Yeah. But on the other chance that he does. Yes, yes. I don't yes. want it to be. I don't Because like, if he's yeah. going to listen to it, he's going to listen to the last one. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we need to have Jack get on here. Yeah. You just make him sit on that couch with you. Yeah. And watch gay porn. Yeah. For an hour. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm in. If you, if you can convince him to get here, we, we're going to do this. Message him nice, tomorrow. Nice hand grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a goddamn man. Uh, all right. That was... A really lame way to end that, but okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, message him tomorrow. Like, mm-hmm. that, seriously, that'd be a hilarious. Yeah. Bit. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. And you should probably set up the camera for that one, <laughs> 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 just to like post the, just to like splice in the realization oh, into the video. That would be amazing. <laughs> Just now, as a bonus episode, just on YouTube as <laughs> exclusive yeah. content. Oh, just like just as just him like all the all the highlights of him realizing what's going on. Yes, you, so you just start, reaction shots. You can't go straight into like a shot of just like this. You have to like do one with a plot, like a, one yep. with a plot, so that it leads into it. Yes, and it yes. seems like it could be a movie. You have to make sure he can't see any of the oh, cut yeah, out yeah, any yeah. of the DVD. So I'm gonna menu do this options. as the seventeenth episode. This part as the maybe nineteenth or twentieth, yeah. and get him. Oh yeah, do it. It'd be yes. hilarious. Yeah. And uh, Jack, if you ever end up hearing this, <laughs> it's not. I know I pick on you a lot because it's easy oh. and fun. You know, you know I love you. Uh, yeah. It's just because I know who you are, and I already. I, I, if he had I, done it to no, me, it would have been an amazing. Actually, bit. I'm going to put on a suit for that. I'm going to put a real nice suit, but with a with a bib. pink p- cravat <laughs> tie. No, no, a cravat. Cravat is a tie. No, there's the English word cravat. Oh, but I have no idea what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's super fancy. Is it a skinny tie? It's more like a is weird it scarf. Ones? It's like a weird scarf. An ascot. Uh, it's not it's not, not Scooby Doo. It's close like, to an ascot. Okay. It's close to an ascot, but it also has a pin in it. I very have no important. idea what you're talking about. Which is surprising because I'm a very classy man, as we established by my <laughs> my exquisite palette of yeah. uh, caviar. Caviar, caviar palette. paired with peanut butter. It's really, only the best peanut butter. It accentuates the exotic notes. Yeah. Bila chunky peanut butter. If you want to buy a Bila peanut butter. Rah, 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 rah. No. Bila, no, no. Yeah, uh, fuck that. It was Bila Plus. I don't know. It was Inter Spa. Like, that was classy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Premium. The spa premium with. Uh, uh, what's his face? Don't know. Peter Pan? No. The guy who played James Bond. Uh, which one? The second to last. Uh, Clayton? Clayton? Uh, nope. J- J- George? No. Michael? I want to say Michael Crichton, but that's not nope, right. Michael nope. Clayton? That's, nope, that's a nope, TV. Nope. That's a movie. Um, Michael Caine, and that's also wrong. Uh, I'm Michael Caine. Skinny Gut. No, it's not Pierce Brosnan. It's not oh, John it's Pierce Connery. Brosnan. That's not a second to last. Yes, yeah, sure. There's no way. Yeah, it was, it was no Pierce idea. Brosnan, and oh, then yes. was Stanley Craig. 
Oh, yeah, Craig. Daniel Craig is definitely who I was thinking of. Yeah. Didn't there somebody after Daniel Craig? Huh? Isn't there another one with after Daniel Craig? No. Nope. It's all Daniel Craig. It was Pierce Brosnan right before Daniel Craig? Yeah. When was Sean Connery? Like 60s? 70s? 70s. I thought Pierce Brosnan right after that. No. <laughs> There's a bit in between. I have only seen Skyfall. Oh, okay. That explains like a oh, ton. Watch it on a plane. <laughs> I have no interest. Most most quality earned. It it is the best Daniel Craig, James Bond. There was only one after that, right? Yeah, one before but it was well? four in total. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Casino, Casino, Casino Royale, Royale. Uh, Quantum of Solace, oh, right. uh, Skyfall, and uh, Spectre. With uh, Christoph Waltz as uh, oh, right. Blofeld or uh, some, I some Christoph evil Waltz guy. does not sound like that at all. Yeah, no. He's he's classy. I wish, we just, I wish we would have watched something with Christoph Waltz tonight. That would have been a much oh, we can, easier we can, watch. Hey, if you have time. We're not starting over. <laughs> we, if you have time. No, we're not starting over. We, but we can record a 20th episode or something like that. Tonight? Yeah, if you have time. I do not. It's already it's already ten o'clock. Yeah. To watch for a another, Christoph Waltz movie. To, to watch a Christoph Waltz movie. Okay. For the movie that I have, I have two movie Christoph Waltz movies prepaid on DVD, so I can watch them at a later point what are as they? a reserve. And one, I think you are gonna enjoy. It's not the big big eyes or whatever. Is no, it? no, 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 no. Old stuff. Back then, when he was a renowned Austrian actor. So, like, still Austrian movies? No, German. German okay. movie. Yeah. Never. I, I will not. I would ask you what they are, but I'm sure I won't know them. I wouldn't be opposed to doing it at some point, but, like, it's already 10. <laughs> It'd be, like, two hours to watch a movie. So, you I wouldn't recommend... I've already to watch okay, the movie. Okay, final conclusion, so you wouldn't recommend this episode. Look... If you just want to see like a flash of the past, it's, yeah. it's it's not a bad indication of what it was at that point. Yeah. But it's not something I would actually like recommend. It's like you gotta watch this show. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm I'm still a big fan because it's after like, after four episodes, oh this in this case five episodes, I'm still intrigued. But even though I was d- disappointed by this episode, not of the misogyny because I was like, of course. That was expected. No, because you thought it was all lesbian jokes. No, <laughs> like you, you saw massage. No, like, yeah, I was he, looking in those. I got box. desperate. That was the thing. I got desperate. That was that. Why I was looking in places that there was nothing in there, um, and that wasn't the sentence. But my dick hasn't been sucked in twenty four hours. <laughs> I should, I should imagine it instead. Sixteen. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. Way to bring the comedic element out of that. <laughs> oh, I, know, I sucked I, it out of the room. I know it'll be fun. <laughs> I know it'll be funny. Making a pun about me getting my dick sucked 16 hours ago. Just so you understand. <laughs> hey, ladies, ladies, I'm a viable sexual object. Okay? Apparently. So I don't know if you can hear my voice, but I know it sounds you like... You sound bitter, man. Look, even if you don't You're think projecting. my voice is the berry white, velvety, chocolatey tones that it is, Ooh, understand, yeah. you should fuck me because other women did it, so why not? I'm gonna put my love in your love. That's not a sentence. That's a berry white lyric. It shouldn't be. Yeah, but it is. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Putting my love in your love? Come on, that's that's pretty. I don't understand why we have this. It, okay, let's say love is a euphemism for some yeah. other body part. Yeah. I don't know why we have the same body part. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same. I'll man. put my penis in your Just penis. Just humans Doesn't really and work. shapes and figures being one. You don't I hope make that the ah sound before you take the drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was satisfied by the clank. Because your body was like endorphins are like I know what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Is that signs of alcoholism that you're pre enjoying alcohol before you drink it? Oh, you just crack a bottle. I'm like I don't even have to drink at this point. I already got everything I need right here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's way cheaper, man. We're still going to. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I want to know the mistakes I did last night. Oh no, mistakes are for the past. Yeah, can't man. look. You can't look back. You gotta look forward. <laughs> you know, it's somebody but, who's still, uh, who pissed in my shoes. Yeah. Uh, look, don't dwell in the past. Is what I yep. say. The worst Life thing the I ever did was puke on my friend's uh, uh, rucksack uh, from three different angles, even though it was leaned against the wall. Oh. Yeah. Well, Last thing I did was get an STD. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> High five for the... Yeah. Getting checked. Oh, guys, get checked. Get One checked. time for free in Austria. 
Well, it depends on every year. Every year. Yeah. Um, Which is nice. It's not bad. Yes and no. Because, like, the Emberlatorium, the SCD yeah. Emberlatorium, I tried yeah. going there when I got back from my tour. Yeah. Because uh, that was a very appropriate time to do it. And Fuck. they stopped doing it in April there. So now I had to go to regular hot dots. Oh, yeah. okay. But I mean, it's still covered by the e card. Okay, no, so. I don't know how often you could do it, but like, I just said, like, hey, I should get tested. Or like, yeah. why? Do and you... even if you have to pay, your copay is not going to be huge. It's not America, yeah. Yeah. I, I it's not going to break your bank. The doctor don't have was a so bank, but it's not going to break it. I just wanted to get a routine checkup. Yeah. Which was not even routine because it'd been like, it'd been way too, it'd been irresponsibly long since my last one. But I told the doctor, I was like, hey, uh, let's get me, I want to get a test. And he's like, why? And I'm like, He's like, are you, do you think you like might have something? I'm like, well, I've had sex. And he's like, so? And I'm like, so probably. Like, I, yeah, I, I might just as well in check. case. And I'm like, he's like, okay, so I can give you this. And I'm like, no, no, like, uh, also, like, what about HIV? He's like, do you think you have HIV? I'm like, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And then I went well, to then the, you went to a bad doctor. Well, then I went to, no, because then I went to the Pilz Ambulatorium. Oh. And they gave me, which I don't know if you know this, but to get nope, the, uh, tested. Nope, I've never the, been there. Oh, so. well, let me tell you right now. Yeah. You know, like, the, how, how they test for gonorrhea where they stick, like, a Q-tip into your dick? Well, maybe you've never been tested for STDs. Oh, I've been tested quite. For bacteria infections? No, because I never had one. Well, if you've never been tested for it, you don't know if you've had it. No, you know if you have gonorrhea. Not necessarily. You can have you can have gonorrhea without having symptoms. Like I, I've never had gonorrhea. Does it show up in your viral load at any it shows, point? It shows up in a like if if you take a swab, you have to take a swab. Okay, yeah, then okay. yes, yes, I did it. Yeah. You just said you never had a swab taken. No, I had a swab taken, but not a Q-tip. It was like oh, well, a like special a, thing. No, it's not like a regular size Q-tip. Yeah, I exactly. Yeah, I was thinking, it's like a, who's, it's, it's, what it's a swab that's doctor? in that shape that's going I'm into your I'm Polish, dick. doctor. I only can afford Q-tip normal size. I, I hope you have big size. dick. <laughs> I hope you have big dick because I'm going to shove this I up. I can only afford baton from American Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very specific a reference. Very specific reference. Wow, wow. <laughs> and I only know that because I went into in September and I watched a lot of uh, American TV while I was in Brooklyn. <laughs> Fucking but, bars everywhere. Yeah, but I also like, but like when I went to this pills auditorium, because like when I'd gotten a like, test before, it was like maybe one or two, eight. <laughs> what? And they're like, because we're gonna give you a blood test for the HIV, and it's gonna be eight Q-tips in your dick, and I'm like, okay, Jesus. maybe I didn't understand that correctly. One, two, three. Four. We're on a marathon right now. <laughs> like uh, it was eight, eight, eight of them, and I'm like, oh, wow. I probably shouldn't. Yeah, and like as they're like, do you think you have an STD? I'm like, I don't know. Like I'm just getting tested. And they're like, well, would you have an STD? I'm like, I've had sex before. They're like, so. And I'm like, without a condom. They're like, so, do you think you have an STD? I'm like, no. I'm just getting tested. I think. Mo- yeah. I think more than one person, even one person. But even if you a, like, I breaks. always bag it. But I, even even with bagging it, you have a like a, a certain you have a fear percent, you have a because. Chance condoms break yeah yeah in my career only two broke career oh only two yeah huh. well child what kind of child what kind of child no, I'm do you just, have I, not I'm breaking just... condoms all right <laughs> <laughs> i just bought it by the right size that's all humble brag Actually, uh, I that whenever, uh, I, i've had a, a lot of condoms break like when i don't buy them and i every mm. time what i always say to the girls i like, never take condoms well, a lot of times it's either that or nothing, and uh, I'll oh no, that. I'm I'm not you in this case. I'm always oh, prepared. Don't worry, because I have uh, I have no job, so no one's gonna like <laughs> get pregnant just to fucking like oh yeah, yeah I can rip uh, you uh, off yeah I, yeah like let me get alimony. I, it's a girl I've been seeing, <laughs> and I, I mentioned to her, and I'm like I can't have kids, and like I don't want you to trap me in. Yeah. And she's like, don't worry, I'm not trapping you anything and anything. You can't pay for the train ticket to my place right now, so I don't. I'm not gonna get anything from you. Don't worry. Right. Yeah. So with that, I've had like I've had enough condoms break, and I've been like, "What kind of children have you been fucking with these condoms?" Uh, <laughs> but um, because like, just, like if the condom breaks, there's a chance you can have a, a, a disease. And like yeah. these doctors look at me with the same. I had a dentist. I got a tooth pulled, and yeah. they gave me antibiotics. And I said, "Can I still like do I have to like pay attention to anything I'm drinking? Can I have, like like yeah. coffee or anything?" They're like, they're "Like yeah, you can, like avoid coffee for the first day." I'm like, "What about like alcohol?" And he's like. You can have beer. Like yeah. he said it like I like was an idiot for asking if I could drink beer. <laughs> um, and like that's the same in that case, of like, in why that would case, you have an STD dude, when you have had- I'm going giving you the number of my dentist because she's amazing. Look at my teeth. And it'll take you four years of seventeen rubber bands. Yeah. Fuck that time. Really. Ah 
Jesus. There are pictures of me online of my time back then doing improv and and stand up. Well, cabaret. But yeah. And I had those braces on on stage. Snaggle tooth? Huh? Oh, with the braces. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to look at sometimes. But funny anyways, because <laughs> there's this crazy guy <laughs> with metal with a metal face. It's like Edward Scissor's hand in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about uh I don't know what he's called in English, the Beiser. He's one of the main villains of Sean Connery's uh, James Bond. He's the one with a metal teeth and he bites people's throats. I Again, I haven't watched James Bond. Yeah. Um, That's well, how cheesy James Bond was back then. I was going to go with Twisted Metal, the old video game. Oh, that good. One. They yeah. made a remake that wasn't good. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But I feel I, I, I thought you might not, or maybe the listeners wouldn't get that reference. So I was going to go with Metal Gear, so- uh, Metal Gear Solid because I feel like people would get that. But it And you used the pen? Enough. It wasn't, yeah. Was that Metal Gear Solid? I thought yeah. it was... Uh... Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Okay, I thought it was uh, Full Metal Jacket for some no. reason. Full Metal Jacket. Uh, Pens? Movie. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's a great movie, but how is there a Stanley Kubrick uh, product placement anywhere? Why, why is that more surprising than a video game pin? Like, it's equally irrelevant. <laughs> okay, saying that Stanley Kubrick movies are irrelevant is... A very saying, that metal, saying that Metal Gear Solid okay, is irrelevant. Yeah, okay, like if you compare equally, the impact, yeah, yeah. on the impact, they're, like, they're quite quite close. Two, yeah. two pins, they're yeah. irrelevant. Like, oh, but if you're saying, yes. like, as in general, like, yes. neither Stanley but Kubrick... In I'm the just film, understanding the time that they came out. No. Because Full Metal Jacket wasn't in a time where there was product placement anywhere. Where there were pins. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but like, yeah, yeah. The, the adult gift that keeps giving. I mean, that's true, because Michael Jackson Branded did Pepsi commercials, pens. didn't he? Huh? Didn't Michael Jackson do Pepsi commercials? Yes. Yeah, that was yeah, like the same and the era. One was uh, where he had to stand on two Coke bottles to reach the button. So he bought two Coca-Cola bottles out of the machine, stood on them so he could to reach the Pepsi, Pepsi bottle. Yeah. That's the same era as Full yeah. Metal Jacket. So, like, that's... Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Holy fuck. Outknowledged. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, point taken. Yeah, we are two hours in anyways. Mm-hmm. In the uh, Well, in yeah. total, but right. yeah, in the second it's part, be probably two, an hour or it's something. Gonna uh, I'm going to cut at the part where we say we're going to be right back. If and we'll be record- right back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being right back. Uh, I mean, I would uh, say yeah. if you're going to cut that, you might as well just, when you edit it, just put in a part of like, and we're going to break this into two. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to do that. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be fun. You can just use this one. Jeez. All right, guys, it's been a long one. We know. Bear with <laughs> us. But don't worry. We're going to break this into a two-parter. The very first FFB and they all in two-parter. Fun, for, the best thing is they already know that because they're listening to the second part right now. No, I, I was assuming that you would put that in the first part. That was my, oh. that was my cutaway uh. so that you could... Oh, shit, I have oh, to man, edit around right, that again. Sorry, you could just edit all of that, including, <laughs> just including this explanation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going... Okay, cut... Um, Reggie, pop, 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 pop. that way you get the yeah. peaks. So you can yeah, go. yeah, yeah, good. Uh, Reggie, yeah. Um, plugs. Where can people find you? Where, where, where are you seen next online and in real life? Uh, so Reginald Barris is my name, and that link in the description. Link below. in the description. So most of my stuff is. Reginald Barris or some sort of derivation of that. Yeah. Facebook, it's facebook.com slash the Reginald Barris. Uh, Not YouTube, a bad pool. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, YouTube is like Reginald Barris. Instagram, Reginald Barris. And then also, um, I do a lot of comedy shows around the city. Uh, uh, Which I'm, is Vienna in this case. If yeah, people around, don't know it. Yes, yeah. around that city. I don't know where your viewership is. Around Vienna. And uh, I, I'm the regular host for Chuckles, Vienna Comedy. Vienna. Ah. <laughs> fucking up your own plug I'm, I'm <laughs> when, re- when is is this to your first time you had to do an audio plug this drunk yeah um, <laughs> so i achieved something i'm Whee! the uh, i'm the regular host for chuckles uh vienna stand-up comedy circuit yeah good stuff good yeah. stuff oh, thank you you yeah. were at the uh schadenfreude crowd work show yeah. and, and uh the uh one in tunnel I- no, I don't do the one in tunnel. Yeah, but you were there. I've oh, that. I mean, that was a storytelling show. That was a one-off from Okello. But yeah, uh, I was on stage. Yeah, too. yeah, you were on yeah. there too. But um, 
the ones that the Chuckles is a part of, which is what I'm involved in, like most heavily. Yeah, is uh, it's there. It's Kramlachen, and which is it Kramladen? Was it pretty yeah. good? It's, pretty good word play, don't. That's a pretty good pun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the other one is uh, at Cafe Lasa Lasa Comedy Showcase. Yeah, and those are Aera. What I don't do anything at Aera. Oh, okay. Um, but those are the three. Do some plugs right of your colleagues yeah, that yeah. have no, something yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just like, you're like, Reggie, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I'm doing this. What about Tom Ash's show? Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm okay, gonna. That that's funny. gonna be my thing in the future for the plugs. I'm gonna just gonna interrupt him and like re- asking you about your plugs. What about Jack? Yeah. <laughs> um, Is he still alive? Yeah. But uh, so original bear. After the and gay chuckles. episode that I did with him, he uh, seemed quite yeah. broken. <laughs> no, I think he seemed pretty into it. He was just like, "Yeah, someone's having sex." Uh, <laughs> At least somebody. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, long and short of it is, Reginald Barris on Facebook and Chuckles began yeah. a stand-up comedy circuit yeah. on Facebook, and from there you can find everything. Right Links on. in the description below. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Again, thank you for doing this. I hope I can have you back at some yeah, point. Sure. Oh, this this is gonna be uh, fun. Just make sure you got snacks. I'll include my writer. Don't yeah. worry. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and people, thank you for hanging in there for such a long time. Um, don't Even know how much I'm up into two. Yeah, and how much I'm gonna uh, edit it around it, but we'll see. Um, I hope uh, you're gonna be back for the next episode of FFP, which is gonna be in this case. A gay episode. Well, it was already a gay episode between this two tufa of an episode. So um, I like how every time you say FFPU, you say FFP. So it's almost like it's like you know FFP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's shit too. The shit, the shit in the ninety yeah, cents. In the ninety cents, it's the shit. Yeah, I agree. It's shit. Yeah, <laughs> fuck off. Uh, so thank you for being here it has been a pleasure I hope you have your back which you already agreed to so thank you for that that's legally binding um, it's not oh yeah it's, a it's just politeness <laughs> 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 fuck Americans really yeah I'm coming to the yeah, how are you I didn't actually yeah. why did you answer that honestly yeah oh, fuck motherfuckers <sighs> that's why I love you Americans in general mm-hmm. um, I've been back there three times so um, yeah yeah uh, See you around, guys. Tschüss.